Good morning from our first full day here in Budapest, Hungary. We are super pumped. It is country number 25 for us together and in classic KJ and Sarah fashion of our first full day in a new city or a new place, we'll be sharing our first impressions today. I'm really happy we came here. We got a caprese sandwich and then three kind of goodies, like pastries. We got a cinnamon pinwheel, a chocolate pinwheel, and a pizza twist. They also have a bunch of chocolate and bread and other like gluten-free things in there, so this place is amazing. And of course, we got two ice matcha lattes. Hopefully they're good. The uh, pizza twist looks a little sad, but we'll see how it tastes. I tried to get you another one, but that was one of the sad. Mmm, no. That's good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That guy bite? Yep. Mm. One to ten. Oh no. Like five point nine. Oh no. <laughs> Time for the sweets. Cinnamon pinwheel. Basically just a cinnamon roll. It's good. Really solid. Well first off, the pizza twist rating eight for sure this i'd say in terms of right now i'd say eight in terms of all of the cinnamon rolls i've had in my entire life six and a half well now that we are carved up time to get after it today see a few sites there are a ton in budapest here to see so we will not see nearly all of them today but we're gonna do our best to see a couple and then we'll continue on throughout the rest of this time that we're here our first stop today was a place called Zimpla Kurt. It's a ruins bar here in Budapest. It's really cool. I've been there before. It opens at 3 and it is 10.45 right now. So we'll have to go back later, if not today, tomorrow for sure, because it is very interesting. It's a pub and restaurant and bar kind of area. They have a few different stalls and a few different places that you can go and get drinks and food and stuff. So really enjoyed my time there when I was there. So I definitely want to show Sarah that. The weather today is absolutely amazing. It's, I think, 77 degrees Fahrenheit, super sunny. It feels like summer, finally. I've been to Budapest before, but it was four years ago now, and it was in February, so it was cold and kind of gross. So I am still considering this my first impressions of Budapest because the weather is so much nicer and is drastically different. We have made our way down to the banks of the Danube River, which cuts through Budapest. And a little history for you is that Buda and Pest used to be two separate cities until 1873 when they were linked by bridge across the river. So currently we're on the Pest side, and that's where we're staying. And on the other side, Buda, is where the Buda Castle is, as well as Fisherman's Bastion and a few other spots. And apparently there's cultural differences between the two sides still, and you can tell the difference based on I think Buda is the more residential side and Pest is the more city side, but it's pretty interesting to learn those little fun facts. Along the banks of the Danube, there is a memorial of shoes dedicated to the Jews that were massacred here by the Hungarian fascist militia back in World War II. Basically, back then, shoes were pretty valuable so they made them take their shoes off and they were shot and their bodies fell into the river. On a bit of a happier note, the city's absolutely beautiful right now. The architecture is amazing, I think. Some old architecture mixed with some modern. It's really pretty, there are some good colors. Everything is pretty lively right now. The weather is definitely helping the overall vibe of the city, I think. Sun always makes things look so much better, but the parks are pretty green and it's just a great day so far. Our next stop of the day is the Hungarian Parliament Building. We're actually gonna cross the river to see it better because when you're across the river, you can see the whole building and you're further away so you can actually take in its full beauty. And it is a very beautiful building, in my opinion. But getting across the river is a little tricky right now. We walked by one of the bridges, but it's closed to pedestrians at the moment. And the other bridge is pretty far away and it would basically take us 45 minutes to walk around. So we're figuring out our transit options, probably either a tram or a bus, which will get us there much quicker. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Okay. <laughs> we have uh, made it to the bus stop where Fisherman's Bastion is, and it was easy, but <laughs> what happened was we got our tickets on the Budapest Go app. So I had two tickets for us. We had to validate them. So we got the tickets, and the bus was there. So we, it's really crowded. So we are getting on the bus. I validate both tickets with the QR code. And I get on the bus, and like I said, it's crowded. So I'm at the front. And it, there's and no room to was, get on the bus. There was plenty of room. There was plenty of room. So I get on. I turn around. Sarah's not on the bus. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, get off the bus. And I was like, get on the bus. She <laughs> thinks that the door is going to hit her. So she doesn't get on. And I, I don't get off. <laughs> so then the door closes. <laughs> This all happened in seconds. I know. Like, I wish it was, I was like, so fast. I wish I was filming, but this all happened within four seconds. It was so fast. Because we initially were at the doors first, and then the bus went all the way up. Yeah. And then there were so many people. So we were like, he's running from it. Like, there's two entrances of the bus. Uh, it was packed, like shoulder to shoulder people. Oh but my Sarah could have, she could have fit. But it was just so funny. So I took the bus to the next stop, got off, <laughs> was waiting for her. All that to say, we made it. But. Definitely make sure there's enough room on the buses for you and your partner if you're traveling together. <laughs> and get the app before, like there was a bunch of signs for it. Yeah. Get it before you're trying to get on the bus. Yes, get the Budapest Go app. Super easy. Now we know. <laughs> oh my god. That was a lot of steps there. I'm sweating. We've walked 3.63 miles so far. Let's get the rest of the four miler walking around this beauty. Fisherman's Bastion is a great overlook of the entire city. On the Buddha side, you can see all of Pest and a bunch of panoramic views everywhere else in the city. Like I said earlier, you can see the Parliament building from the other side of the river, and the view is much better of it than if you're standing right up against it. You can really see the entire thing, and it is absolutely beautiful. I also learned it was more than just a viewpoint. You can get tickets and like go and see more of the area that's less crowded, but there's also a bunch of shops up there that you can sit and have some snacks, some ice cream, some food. Pretty cool, and a couple restaurants. That bus ride leaving Fisherman's Bastion was significantly easier than the one that we took getting up there. We both got on the same bus, so that is always a win. Low bar. <laughs> the bar was incredibly low. We're going on this road? Yeah. Perfect. We are definitely getting the hang of public transport here, and aside from our little snafu earlier, it has been very easy. <laughs> After walking five miles this morning so far, we have worked up quite an appetite, so we got some lunch at a place called Karta? Kata. Kata. No R. K A. No TA, gluten free, but it was really, really good. I had a burger, absolutely delicious. We split a goulash soup, which was also delicious. And then Sarah got like a fried chicken mashed potato dish. It was really good. There you go. That place is 100% gluten free and 100% lactose free. Not gonna lie, the dogs are barking right now. The feet are pretty tired. Did a lot of walking so far today, so we're gonna take a little siesta break from walking around and get back at it this afternoon or like early evening tonight. Okay, we have two options for dinner tonight. Gonna check out one of them first. If there's too long of a wait, gonna go to the other one. But other than that, that's our plan. Budapest has been amazing for gluten-free options. I feel like there's too many and that's like overwhelming because usually I have like two options. So I'm like, let's hit those. And this one I was like, okay, I have my list of like 20 restaurants. I'm like, what's open? Okay. Who are this? Made it to the restaurant. These look awesome. Holy cow. I got like the chicken specialty dish. Chicken with rice and like a cheese sauce. I'm pretty pumped about it. Mm. And I got the beef goulash with dumplings. So psyched about this.
vannak, akkor valahogy uh, wow. nagyon sok piacot adunk az ismert iskoláknál. There's so much flavor there. Oh my gosh. That's way better than I expected. We got these crepes filled with cream, and the cream is like... How would you describe it? It's like kind of vanilla lemony, like very sweet. Oh, it's really good. Wow. I'm sad we didn't get our own. <laughs> that was an absolutely delicious meal. I feel like we ate pretty good today. We ate really good. Yeah, so first yeah. impressions of Budapest food, A plus. A plus. Your first impressions of Budapest, 30 seconds, go. Go. It's really, it was really cool. Also super busy, very lively during the day and at night. So I don't know, just kind of a fun, fun city. I'm really excited to go to the baths. I feel like that's a really important mm -hmm. like piece of Budapest that we haven't seen yet. So really excited for that, but Overall, yeah, good vibes. I completely agree. Public transit was great. Oh it, yeah. Assuming you hit no snafus <laughs> of getting on the bus with your partner. But other than that, there were a ton of buses, there's trams, there is a subway or underground. Didn't use it, but that's an option and there are a bunch of taxis. Everything we saw today was really cool, really pretty. The city was, like Sarah said, very lively and colorful. Lots and, of outdoor dining. Yeah, I mean, it's summer, so mm -hmm. I mean, beautiful sunny weather always helps no matter what, no matter where yeah. you are. But yeah, I, I'd say overall, I mean, obviously we didn't nearly hit everything in the city today. We just scratched the surface like we always do in our first impressions because that's kind of the point of first impressions, right? You just kind of go out and see what you see and that's how it is. So we're really excited. I, I'm really excited to see more of the city again. I know I... I know I said I've been here before, but again, it was four years ago now, so I'm kind of forgetting things and haven't seen things in a Katie's while. Katie's forgetting a lot, let's be <laughs> clear. I'm like, oh, which way should we go? He's like, I don't remember. Yeah, so it's been a minute, but really looking forward to it. And um, Definitely, so. you should definitely come visit. Absolutely, I definitely think it's worth the visit. I definitely think it's worth staying a few days so far. I mean, we're gonna stay a few days, so we'll report back at the end of our stay. But yeah, I'd say that's kind of it. I'd that's say. It. Today was a lot of walking, and it is time for bed. Yes. All right, see you in the next one. Good night. Good night. Three years ago now, so I am still counting this. City juice. Ooh, gross. Right. <laughs> All right, we've recovered a little. Heart rate's back in the 120s. <laughs> Up to you, let me buy you a drink. That was an abs. <clears throat> okay, wait, I like. <clears throat> okay, I'm good now.